Hi, we are the team number six that is composed by Cristina Asensio, Diego Montes, Jesus Alejandro Navarro, Gabriel Uribe, and Rosario Zamora, and we are going to present you our topic about viruses. Let's start. First, what is a virus? A virus is a particle of genetic code, DNA or RNA, encapsulated in a protein vesicle. Viruses have two characteristics. The first one is that they cannot replicate by their own, and the second one is that they need to infect cells and use the components of the host cell to make copies of themselves. Actually, there is a discussion about if viruses must be considered as a living being. Why? Because they do not have characteristics such as homeostasis and they do not ground. But also, viruses have characteristics such as adapt to the environment and they have levels of organization. Other characteristics are unknown and other characteristics are um, sometimes the viruses have it and sometimes they do not have it. So actually there is a discussion in the scientist community. So before I start with the taxonomy of the viruses, it is important to let you know that there is an international committee of taxonomy of viruses. This committee was created by the Virology Division of the International Union of Microbiological Societies. And the um, task of this committee is for developing a single universal virus taxonomy. The goal of this committee is to uh, categorize all the viruses that are known into a single classification scheme that reflects their evolutionary relationships. Hello, I am Diego Montes Rios. I'm going to explain the first part of the classification of the virus. And first, we have the division. The division are also called phylum. The phylum is a part of the division of the virus that is bigger than the class but smaller than the kingdom. There are in total 17 phylums or divisions in all the kingdoms, and here are some examples. First, we have the two phylums of Peplovirikota and Urubirikota that are part of the kingdom Heugon Virae. Now, we have another example of, the, of some phylums and their kingdom. First, we have the phylum of Cosabiricota and Kretsnaviricota that are part of the kingdom of Shotokuwirae. And we have the, another example of another two phylums that are the Nucleocytoviricota and Pleplasmiviricota that are part of the kingdom of Banforvirae. The next classification of the viruses is the subdivision. The subdivision are also called subphylum and is a classification bigger than the class but smaller than the division or phylum. There are only two subdivisions in the same phylum. The phylum is Negornaviricota and the two subphylums are Haploviricorina and Polyploviricorina. Hello everybody, I'm Rosario Zamora and today I'm here to continue with the next level on the virus taxonomy, the class. As you already know, a class is a major taxonomic rank below the phylum or division and above the order. In the virus taxonomy, we can find 36 different classes, but remember that we don't have subclasses in the virus taxonomy. So now, with that information, let's check some examples. As you can see, we have the Chitrinoviricota division, which is divided into four classes, Alsuviriceres, Flasuviriceres, Tulcaviriceres, and Maxaviriceres. Then, we have another example, the Lenarviricota division, which is divided into four classes. Alasoviriceres, Amabilibiriceres, Hobertoviriceres, and Miabiriceres. Then we have the Nucleocytoviricora division, 
which is divided into megabytes and pocket bytes. Remember that if you want to know the rest of the classes, you should check the official web page of the virus taxonomy. Order of viruses. The order is a taxonomic grant used in classifying organisms. Generally, below the class and comprise a set of families sharing a set of similar nature or characters. There are 55 different order of viruses. We are going to see 15 orders from five classes. The, from the class also be resets, we have three orders epilivirales, timovirales, and marcellivirales. From the class Megavirisetes, we have the algavirales, imertivirales, and primascovirales. For the class Pisonivirisetes, we have three orders nidovirales, sobevirales, and picomavirales. For the class Reptravirisetes, we have two orders bluebervirales and orchervirales. And for the class Tectilivirisetes, we have four orders. Belfrivirales, calamavirales, pinavirales, and roavirales. Well, then we have the category of a family. A family is a category that is located between an order and a genus. This means that a family is more specific than an order, but less specific than a genus. A family also can be categorized into a subfamily. The characteristic of a family is that they share the same ancestor and the same, well, some characteristics. The viruses are classified into a 168 families, and some of the, their families and subfamilies are the following. First, we have the family of the beta flexibility. And their subfamilies are the Kimberinae and Tribirinae. Next, we have the Hantaviridae, and the subfamilies are Agantaviridae and Adrepantaviridae. Then we have the Euronibirinae, and their subfamilies are Seronibirinae and Crustonibiridae. We also have the family of the Irinobiridae, and their subfamilies are Alpha Irinobiridae. And beta irinovirinae. Then we have the myovirinae, and their subfamilies are the onavirinae and tebenvirinae. Finally, we have the family of tobanivirinae, and their subfamilies are piscanivirinae and serpentovirinae. And finally, we have an example of the taxonomic classification within a specific virus. In this case, SARS-CoV-2, the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, which is the responsible about this global pandemic. This virus that causes COVID-19 belongs to the division of Pisivircara, in which we found RNA viruses. Then we have its class that is Pisovirinicets, in which we found positive single-stranded RNA viruses. After the class we have its order, Nitrovirals. There are viruses that affect animals and humans which are in the family Coronaviridae. There are viruses which produce gastrointestinal and respiratory diseases. Well, this is the end of the presentation. If you want to watch the complete taxonomy of SARS-CoV-2, you can visit the webpage that is in the reference. Thanks for watching.